of the people that we really could not do this festival without, and they are um, Homer Art and Frame, Center for Lost and Coastal Studies, Lands End Resort, Alaska Adventure Cabins, who's taking care of all of our artists who come from out of town. Thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Um, uh, Homer Chamber of Commerce, KBBI Radio, uh, the Atwood Foundation, and the Homer Foundation. Also, the Homer Mo Movie Theater. Yay! Okay. And who I haven't mentioned yet is Alaska Airlines, who gives us two tickets every year for our raffle, which happens next Wednesday night on this stage, the drawing for the raffles on this stage. You do not have to be present to win, and the, with along with uh, the Alaska Airlines, uh, two tickets to anywhere they fly unrestricted with uh, no blackout dates is two tickets to Salmon Fest and also a Salmon gift box and cookbook from Salmon Sisters. So tickets are on sale. See Shirley's waving her hands. They are $20 each to win a ticket to uh, Alaska Airlines, two tickets from Alaska Airlines. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so it's $20 a ticket or two for 50. So feel free to visit me anytime during the show tonight. And um, I do want to say we have a couple of really great things coming up here. Sunday night is um, Fisher Poets. Tuesday night is our Broadway, Broadway Nostalgia at Lands End Resort. Wednesday is a spectacle here. And Thursday, we slow down and Homer Dog Fest begins. So, so much to do. Then you have a whole week of film. So, oh, just tired talking about it. But it is so much fun. Thanks to you all for being here. And uh, we are going to start tonight with a local comedian who you probably know. He's been around since, I'm not going to say dirt, but since a really long time. And he is um, from now Homer, Alaska. And please welcome to the stage, George Faust. when you get old. So hi everybody, how are you doing? Oh, do that again. That was great. There was so much energy in that clap, it almost makes me feel like I want to have a stroke for you guys. I'm 75 years old, thank you very much. Eat your heart out. So, I thought this was a bit unusual. Oh wait, I forgot to I got, forgot to introduce myself. George Faust, right? Yeah. Happy for the moment. CRS, can't remember sugar. I promised I wouldn't say shit. So anyway, yeah, I thought this was a bit unusual. Yesterday I was talking to this guy and he asked me this question, are there hookers in Homer? I'm like, yes, but only if you call them fishermen. Those of you married, you might know, right? So anyway, yeah, Faust is a famous, big, strong German name for, uh, it means fist. So I come from a whole line of fisters. <laughs> I'm not giving you too much detail about it because they don't want you to get the wrong idea about me, okay? But if you want a nickname for Punchy, Punchy, nickname me Punchy, just feel free to do so. Or better yet, Osteo Punchy, it's age appropriate, right? So anyway, I don't know if you noticed, I got Parkinson's disease. It's a bitch. Means they're gonna be standing on shaky ground no matter what. <laughs> Almost as shaky as me, you know? I'm going through the Rolodex. 
<laughs> oh, just kidding. I'll tell you, this age 75, I might not be much of a mover, but I'll tell you what, I'm learning how to become one hell of a shaker. <laughs> Especially if I shake my booty at the same time. <laughs> you like that, ladies, don't you? Mm -hmm. Too. I love all the attention. So, you know, yeah. Maybe 30 or 40 years from now, America's got talent. Do the math. I'll, I'll be a bag of bones doing a jitterbug. <laughs> Call me Jiggling George's dancing nutsack. That's clean comedy because I heard it was on the side of the road in Branson, Missouri. So it justifies it, okay? Right. One thing I do love is I love physical exercises. I figure physical exercise, motion is motion. It's the magic portion that keeps this ocean in the motion. How's that, go? How's that no sound for a notion, huh? The way I look at it, the smaller the kegger right here, the bigger the spigot looks down below. You know what I mean, ladies, right? Damn! I'll tell you what, having Parkinson's, I'm terrible at sex, but I'm really good at having foreplay. I think I just embarrassed the hell out of Sally. I do the same longer, I'm embarrassed the hell out of myself. What's up? Yeah, I am excited. So anyway, I stay at an old folks home. It's up the hill. It's kind of a cool place. It's called the... Uh, something Terrace. I could call it. It's the Terrace, I don't know. To me, it's kind of like Homer's version of Hotel California. You can check in, but you can never leave. I love your laugh. <laughs> Let's do it together. Come on. Uh, chicken. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, well, I just want to thank my doppelganger back there for being here. We put our heads together. We put our heads in. Oh, we put our heads together. We look like two boobs in paradise. So how do you like my do? I love this look. I absolutely love this look. It's great. It's clean, you're right. You got that right on the board, right there, yeah. In fact, I love it so much I named it after the Stephen King novel. I call it The Shining. <laughs> I was thinking if I was a rap star, you know what I'd call myself? Shaved Ice. <laughs> or better yet, Mr. Slick. I'm bald, you know what my middle name is? This sucks, man. It used to piss me off. It's Harry. <laughs> It's no different, but it sounds the same. It could be worse. It could be like Curly or uh, Cowlick. That'd be utterly insane, huh? Suck it up. I know that's a bad joke. I thought I'd throw it and just see what your reaction was. So you like my Crocs? I love Crocs, man. I think they're so ugly they actually look beautiful. Like you. <laughs> and you. So, um, yeah, I figured it this way, Crocs and socks, man, for old people, they rock. The more they rock, the quicker we fall asleep. <laughs> These are my winter Crocs, you know what that means? One stud in them. Little on me. I love my Crocs so much, I actually wrote some lame jokes about them. Would you like to hear them? Cool, all right. These are all real drag, you know what I call them? Shubarus. <laughs> if I use them like a cell phone, you know what I call them? Crocodiles. <laughs> We're all a Shrek, you know what he calls them? Shrocks. 
Here's one. Here's another piece of trivia. Do you know if you spell Subaru backwards, it, sp it spells you are a bus? <laughs> Apparently, they took that concept to heart here in Homer. That's why they bust everybody around on them like they're taxi cabs. Oh, wait, they are taxi cabs. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're not quite as annoying as the damn mosquitoes, right? Everybody, show of hands, love Subarus. Oh, wow. We win. In Anchorage, when they steal your car, they just steal them and they go off to the distance. But in here, when they steal your car, they just uh, steal it. They go kumbaya, peace, bro, and then they're off with them driving to Anchorage and do the same thing. So anyway. Is this distracting? I was actually thinking about since I lost all these talents, I used to ride unicycles and juggle machetes, fire and bowling balls and all this kind of crap and everything. I thought about developing some new talents. I thought about, you know, going down to Homer's and seeing how their paint shape was working lately. <laughs> Maybe they can hand me a couple buckets and I can shake paint. What do you think? Until I retire. Or maybe better yet, maybe I want to become a humor writer, you know? Maybe I should learn how to write a book about weight loss called Laugh It Off While I Shake It Off. <laughs> Doing the booty thing. Or maybe I should get a job in a Netro Sketch Factory, what do you think? <laughs> that were pretty good. Yeah, they're half off today. I think you should buy one, okay? Which half do you like? This half or that half? Or maybe I get a job here at Alice's, what do you think, huh? Yeah, so making martinis, Jane Bar martinis, shaken but not stirred. I'll tell you, I'm pretty good at making old pop popcorn the old-fashioned way at home. It's not what you think it is. That was the other joke. So, do you like impressions? Yeah. Do you like tie-dye t-shirts? So do I. This is a stupid question to ask people in Homer. Try to t shirts. Tell me, God, you've been hippies for the, since the, the invention of God in the universe. It's like, okay, my impression of the Northern Lights. <laughs> well, a few moments in my life, it pays off to have Parkinson's disease. <laughs> So, anyway, one thing I love on women is I love tattoos on women. I think tattoos on women are fabulous. What do you call the ones on the lower back, ladies? So well, thank you. Usually some guy goes in there, tramp steps. Well, if I got one on my lower back, you know what I call it? An old gramp stamp. I have a big old arrow pointing down that says, the end is near, in my case, more ways than one. Or you can call it ink above the stink. <laughs> Paint next to the taint. <laughs> Smear with the poo, dancing the loo. I'm having too much fun up here. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm not afraid of death. afraid to leave my friends behind, like all the hookers, the floozies, and all my schmuck friends. I'm not afraid of cremation either. I probably, when I die, I'm going to get cremated, man. And I'll tell you what, but I'm afraid of being overcooked. <laughs> That's horrible, man. That's horribly funny, now I think about it. You're taking this way too seriously. So anyway, yeah. So, uh, let's see, anything else I can address? My parents were German. You want to hear my very favorite German joke? You know you call an unhappy German? A sauerkraut. You know you call a happy German? Austrian, Swiss, Danish, why? Because they ain't flipping German, that's why. I gotta tell you, you know, this is too much fun. So.
so uh, yeah, I'm German. What a curse. In fact, I was home the other day and I got this weird ass phone call. This guy goes, excuse me, is this the Department of Corrections? I said, no, but it is now. And he said, why? Because I said, because you just got corrected. That's why I've done ass. I'll never die of Alzheimer's disease. I'm going to die of Weisenheimer's disease. That's German for smart ass. You want to know why? Because I don't give a damn. Oh, wait, sorry. I can't say damn on stage. Pretend I moved over there. Damn. So anyway, well, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I just wanted to say one thing. I wanted to remind you, I'm 75 years old. And yes, it's true. I have screwed all your grandmothers. But only in bingo. Thanks for listening, everybody. It's been great. It's been a lot of fun. Have a good evening. Enjoy the rest of your community. Don't forget to keep your right to see from me. No, just kidding. Thanks. <laughs>